Hi Jack, this is Roger. Okay, that piece of red deck junk right there, that's actually the, uh, the swamp cooler I've been writing about. Uh, let me take uh, you down here. This is uh, These are two cords that come from it, one's to the pump, one's to the fan. And I have a power meter on it, so just to show you. Uh, like I said, it runs about 100 watts. It's reading, I don't know if you can see it there, but it's reading about uh, 97.6, uh, 96 watts that could change a little depending on how hot the fan is and stuff for some reason. I got a little piece, I got a little uh, thermometer stuck in there and uh, again I don't know if you can see it from the camera but it's reading uh, 70 degrees, 80% uh, humidity. The real temperature outside right now is about 84 degrees or something and uh, 60 or I think it's 60% like humidity so trades off humidity for coolness. There's not much you need to know. Okay, I'll go outside and show you the back. Uh, there's not much you need to know about it actually. It um, It's just a piece of cardboard, basically glorified wet cardboard that's kept wet by the action of the pump. Okay, so if we look down in the water, the key here is is that you need to somehow get it situated over water so it drips back into the uh, bucket that it's over. It can be in the bucket set on cinder blocks or something obviously that can't be actually in the water because it will electrocute you if, it, if you do that. And then inside you'll see there's just a little pump and the water should be dripping even, evenly across the bottom. I mean that includes front and back towards the front of the pan, towards the back of the pan, and left and right. So this all has to be even. If you don't do that the uh, cardboard will not be efficient in its cooling. And you can see the spray bar there. The spray bar doesn't need, should be situated in the middle, okay, and just kind of floppy there. It's because I don't expect the need to be fastened down. But just get it situated so it's the middle of the uh, unit. Um, other than that, there's not much you should need to know. The manufacturer recommends you, you uh, swap out 30% of the water a day just to keep it fresh smelling and not getting funky. Uh, I'll leave that up to you. I don't know. At Burning Man, I don't do that. We don't have enough water to be wasting 30% like that. So it probably is ideal, but I'll just leave it up to you. And um, fan, you can run it on. If you run it on high, you're going to take about 100 watts. Medium, or medium and maybe 25 watts less and then low maybe 35 watts less so and the pump takes almost nothing anyway that's it uh, not really rocket scientist here uh, so this isn't rocket science because I'm not it's just something to get you going um, the inside of the fan by the way one other thing I just thought of the inside of the fan should remain so dry so I mean there you may see a little bit of wetness down the bottom but if there's a lot of water spewing around those blades that's not only dangerous it will or excuse me not only will ruin the fan it could become dangerous and you can get electrocuted and for that matter I would just not be sticking your hand in the water in general I mean you know in theory it's okay I might include a GFCI which will make it totally safe that's what I'm planning on doing just just to make sure that's a little yellow box there that will make it so that even if there was a short you can never get hurt but just in general you know something electrical over water you probably don't want to be you know messing in it and swimming in it or something okay all right well that's it uh, hope you enjoy it I'll be sending it off tomorrow